New fallout tonight from Harvey, an alarming discovery by the EPA, a Superfund site along the San Jacinto River contaminated with toxic, toxic chemicals is leaking. The toxicity is reaching levels well above what's considered safe. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz is live in the newsroom tracking the latest environmental impact from that storm. Mario. Keith, it is a troubling announcement by the EPA. Test results at one location on the site showing that levels have skyrocketed. The cause? A cap that busted during Harvey. For more than 40 years, this area around I-10 and the San Jacinto River has been a toxic mess filled with dangerous contamination. It was a dumping site for toxic sludge produced by an old paper mill. That sludge, contaminated with mercury and cancer-causing chemicals, eventually became submerged and was designated as an EPA Superfund site. There are signs that warn against fishing in the area. In 2011, the federal government installed special caps to contain the toxins. Today, we learned those protective caps were damaged during Hurricane Harvey. And the waste pits, as they are known, are leaking, causing highly elevated levels of toxins in the water. Back on September 15th, EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt surveyed the area from the air and on the ground. Images show Pruitt meeting with Jackie Young, Executive Director of the Texas Health and Environment Coalition. The organization, also known as THEA, provided Channel 2 pictures from the last few weeks that clearly show crews not only working on boats in the water, but also near the shoreline. The EPA ordered the companies responsible for the site, International Paper and Industrial Maintenance Corporation, to make more samples to ensure the leaks are isolated and don't migrate. The agency says they have already started initial repairs to replace the damaged cap and may send a dive team back to evaluate the damage again. Even before Harvey, the EPA had a long-term plan to address the protective caps. That $97 million plan will remove more than 200,000 cubic yards of sludge. Now, we are still waiting to hear final details of how it will be implemented, but EPA Administrator Pruitt said he hoped to announce those details by mid-October. Mario Diaz, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Mario.